It is Monday, April 24th, 2023. Welcome to Vita. Which way do I? Yeah. Whew. So I'd actually meant to do something more substantial for today's video, but uh, it's been kind of an exhausting month. I mean, the dog got sick, so had to help out with that. And also my parents have decided that they're gonna do some renovations in their house, which means they need my help. Uh, told you about moving the furniture and uh, we need some more of that. A combination of the two things actually. Uh, well, today I had to get up early to help my dad uh, take some stuff to the uh, recycling slash dump place. It is a recycling place, not really a dump. But that did require getting up early and also putting up with my dad, not realizing that the car is a backup camera. So backing up is really easy and I don't have to get out of the car to guide him. And then even then he doesn't, but if you just do, it's a gadget, it's a neat toy. Why are you reluctant to use a neat new toy? Can I rip it out of your car and put it in mine? I know that's not possible, but you're not using it. Another thing is weather. I mean, I've joked that not a single day in April has been a spring day. It's either been a summer day or a winter day. And uh, this morning was a winter day. It, the temperature was below zero Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. That's freezing for people in whatever country uses neither of those systems. So I pulled out my phone and used the app to turn on the heat here. This is my, I think it's a heat exchanger and it's uh, air conditioner, which I obviously didn't need this morning, and a heater, and a fan, and a dehumidifier, and that's actually often uh, more useful in the summer than a uh, air conditioner. But here's the thing, it has this flap here. This is designed to, um, this works surprisingly well as far as distributing the temperature. And um, well, yeah. The little piece here that's broken and my dad said he had a friend who could come and fix this actually before that it wasn't working and the friend uh, said that he would come and fix it he didn't actually i managed to fix it myself uh, basically uh, this uh, little box under here is basically a circuit breaker so if the thing stops working you open up the box and then you close it and then it starts working again somehow but then uh, he would come and uh, fix this thing this was in definite winter, not apparent winter. So I cleared space for the friend to get there and it's kind of been taken up now by the proton pack. Uh, got a lot of videos to work on here. So um, I tried to turn it off or at least turn it down and it uh, gave me an error message. So I tried reconnecting it, disconnecting it, deleting it, reinterpreting it, or reintegrating it, or re-something it. I'm so flustered, I can't even figure out what to put after re, but um, it kept giving me an error message. So I was stressed out and tired and decided that it might be best just to take a nap. And then I heard what sounded like my door opening or something. And then, okay, it's got to be the wind. And then I heard a voice. Ah, what the? It's my mom. She just, she does that. She just walks into my house when she needs my help. I mean, I do just walk into their house, but it's different. For one thing, when I walk into their house, it's usually to help them and not, uh, yeah. Or, or, or I just want to pet the dog, you know. <laughs> Make sure she remembers me. But yeah, uh, she needed my help with something, which again, kind related actually to both their uh, home renovations and the dog. Uh, the dog had peed on the carpet and so I had to hang it on the porch and I had to bring it back in and she'd rather work with me than with my dad. That's understandable. Although, you know, I did get up rather quickly and I knocked the blankets to the floor. I, I really don't like my weighted blanket uh, just uh, being exposed like that. I, I mean, I really, I usually sandwich it in between uh, this comforter and these uh, knitted Afghan blankets there. Uh, Point being, I was kind of frazzled. I was just in the state of sleep where, you know, it's nicely sleep and if you're suddenly woken up, it's, <laughs> it's hard to, it's hard to pay attention. It's hard to speak properly to people. It's, it, it uh, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I helped her and, but. Uh, and Finally, I noticed uh, that uh, gave me the error message and then I could scroll on it and wait, what about beep? Well, now there's an error message again saying it's not connect, but it did respond. So I've noticed that the last software update was the 19th and today is the 24th and 
This is, I think, possibly the first time I used it since updating the software, so I think that's a glitch. Hopefully there'll be a patch soon. Thank you so much for unnecessarily fixing what wasn't broken. Also, I don't like that it's now just a horizontal line. It used to be a semicircle. That was much easier as far as changing the temperature. I had more room, so I could be a little more subtle. You know, here it's... Oh, that's too far! Oh, that's still too far out the... Beep! There we go. Yeah. So, I don't know, I might actually do what I was thinking of doing today, tonight, and then bank it for tomorrow or something. But yeah, it's, uh, that's why I'm only on page 39 of this book. I mean, that's page 39 out of uh, how many pages here? And 253. Oh, no, I spoiled the ending. She writes a book. Oh, now I spoil it for you, too. Sorry. <laughs> Love to get a shot of myself in the cab of one of these things, but probably not supposed to. It's probably a sign that I didn't even notice. Uh, I'm feeling snow. Probably.